Hi. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Steve Jobs, and this is the first of one of many chalk talks we're going to have this year together. Uh, the subject of this one is really important, which is who is our target customer? Why are they selecting our products over our competitions? And what distribution channels are we going to use to reach these customers? A lot of light bulbs have come on over the last 90 days. Um, I've had the good fortune to be with a lot of you out in the field, meeting customers, getting firsthand information uh, as to what they're doing with our products. You have fed a lot of information uh, to the management of this company. and We've done a lot of thinking and looked at the data. And all of a sudden, out of this data, some very, very important things have come to light. I want to share them with you today. We've had, historically, a very hard time figuring out exactly who our customer was. And I'd like to show you why. When we first look at the workstation marketplace, it looks something like this. And the biggest player, as you know, in the workstation marketplace is Sun. Second biggest player is HP Apollo. Third biggest player is DEC. And uh, IBM with the RS6000 is now in the game as well. And then outside the workstation marketplace, the very large market for PCs and Macintoshes, the traditional personal computer market. Now, we looked at the workstation marketplace and we said, wow, we have multitasking. We have great networking, just like the workstations. We use Unix. We have a pretty good development environment. So we're a lot like these folks. But then again, these folks don't really care about user interface, or at least they haven't been able to execute on it if they do. They don't really have great third-party application software. And these are not machines for mere mortals. So we're not like them at all. And then we look at the PCs. And we do strive to get a suite of application software that allows us to be just like these folks. We do strive to attain ease of use and actually are easier to use than even a Macintosh today. So we're a lot like these folks. But then again, we have multitasking and networking that is an order of magnitude beyond what you can do with a PC today. So over the last year, we've oscillated back and forth between thinking that the PCs and the Macs were our competitors, and this is where we wanted to be, or the workstations were our competitors, and this is where we wanted to be. In essence, are we an easier to use workstation, or are we a more powerful PC? And had it not been for a revelation, if you will, five or six months ago, uh, we probably would still be oscillating today. And what that revelation was was that somebody turned up the power of our microscope a little bit, and we saw something very important. And what we saw was that the workstation marketplace is really not just one workstation marketplace, but two. There's the traditional half, which is what we've come to know and love, science and engineering, which does indeed look just like this. But there's a new half emerging, which we're calling the professional half. That is, professionals that are not scientists and engineers who want the power of workstations. And inside this marketplace, there are several submarkets. Publishing, the high end of the publishing market, tech pubs, medical, a lot of database-driven applications, higher education, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Legal markets in here. Many, many markets are in here. And what's very interesting is Sun is the only company that seems to have eked out a beachhead over here. And our data says that in 1990, Sun sold around 40,000 computers into this market and had about an 80% market share. So the entire professional workstation market in 1990 was about 50,000 units. And Sun had the majority share. That's why we didn't see it before. It was such a small blip compared to the workstation marketplace or, of course, the PC marketplace that it did not show up on our radar screen. But we've seen it now. And it's good that we have, because this is a marketplace that we can dominate. And it's a marketplace that's going to be very large. The market research data that we have 
and also our gut feelings from many, many years in the industry, say that this marketplace in 91 is going to grow to about 100,000 units in size. It's going to double this year. And next year in 92, it's going to triple to about 300,000 units. That is a substantial marketplace. What is also exciting about this marketplace is that 100% of our volume goes in here. In other words, if we could ship 50,000 computers into all these markets this year, we would have a 50% market share of one of the fastest growing segments of the entire computer industry. Now, let's examine why this thing is going to grow. What is going to cause this thing to grow from 50 to 100,000 to 300,000 units? Clearly, it is not these people deciding to not to stop being engineers and go to business school and reemerge over here. That's not how it's going to grow. It's going to grow from two factors. Number one, these folks moving in. PCs and Mac owners deciding that they need more sophisticated networking, more sophisticated development environments, et cetera, deciding they need to step up to workstations. And one other class of users. There's a lot of people now using 3270 terminals or terminal emulators hooked up to a mainframe for database driven applications. More and more, they are deciding to move their applications onto a powerful desktop workstation connected via networking to the mainframe so that they can get the application out of the mainframe and onto the desktop for more rapid development, for better user interface, and for better economics. So these two factors are what's going to cause this market to increase almost an order of magnitude in size over the next 24 months. And we can get half of it. Now, one of the things that is very interesting is that Sun is today the major participant in this marketplace with an 80% market share. And I personally don't see too many other people being able to move into this marketplace over the next few years. I believe Sun will remain our major competitor. The funny thing is, while we're convincing these people using PCs and Macs, and these people using 3270 terminals or equivalents to move in to the professional workstation segment, Sun is, if you will, our friend. Because they're going to spend their marketing money to convince people to move into this segment. But the minute they've made their choice to move into the segment, whether we've convinced them or Sun has convinced them, Sun and Next are mortal enemies. And the good news, which we'll talk about in a minute, is that we've had a chance to suit up against Sun with our new products about 15 times in the last 90 days. And we've won 15 out of 15. Now uh, we want to address what is compelling these people to move into this new category of professional workstations. And secondly, once they've decided to make the move into the category, uh, why are we going to beat Sun? Let's take a look. There's three primary reasons. The first one is that every single customer we've talked to here has the need to write one custom application. They've got one mission critical app that they've got to write. And so the development environment becomes critical. In addition to that, these applications are very network intensive. So they need very sophisticated networking capabilities, which they cannot find in PCs and Macs. And third, <clears throat> these applications primarily are database driven, which means that they want to write the application on the desktop machine, but this application on the desktop machine through the sophisticated networking is going to communicate with SQL databases running in either an IBM mainframe or running Oracle or Sybase on a sequent machine, something like that. So they need the sophistication of the networking and the ability to seamlessly talk to databases running on large servers.